Oh, hey guys, you're back. Glad to have you. So, while poking around in the fun mat, I noticed this handy little USB camera. Let me tell you a little bit about that and how to use it. The first thing you wanna do is, you'll see this little USB cable in the bottom? Go ahead and unplug it, and then your machine's gonna restart, that's okay. Um, because just ignore that camera and act like it was never there. Unfortunately, we don't really support it. Um, we tried to a long time ago. Uh, you'll have this information card that came in the, you know, uh, packaging. Do your best to try to figure it out that way. I, we highly recommend using something like an OctaPrint um, that uses the USB port on the side. It's a dedicated Raspberry Pi running a custom operating system that allows you to remotely monitor um, your prints. Actually, it is the, the entire little device, all the processing power um, is dedicated to just feeding your machine G-code reliably and feeding and storing the video it captures of your printer and the prints that are happening. It's a great, um, it's, it's a great alternative that does nothing but monitor and control your printer remotely, specifically for the Marlin firmware. I use it on all my machines. We use it on all our machines. We trust it, we love it. You, you're in Portugal and you wanna see how your prints are doing in Irvine, California? No problem, get on your phone. Push a few buttons, oh, that looks great, I love it. Or it's, oh, I'm having, something's going wrong there, push stop. Um, you can either build one yourself, it's not that difficult. Um, a bit of a learning curve, but we also have them for sale on our site that are pre-configured just for this machine. So it's literally plug in the USB cable, plug in the power, that's all there is to it. Now, this guy unfortunately doesn't do this. What this does is record onto a little SD card or transmit over Wi-Fi, allegedly it's never gotten it to work. So the deal is it's a very cheap camera that seems to work about half of the time. Um, we, we recommend that you don't even really waste your, your time trying to get it going. When there are, are alternatives out there like Octoprint that make your life much better. Look forward to our future videos where I will show you how to set up Octoprint and exactly what it's capable of doing. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you wanna see me doing in the next videos. Thank you guys so much.